Her face is one everyone here recognises. That's why Kasia Nabagazera avoids public places. She's been fighting for gay and lesbian rights in Uganda for more than 16 years. I've gotten beaten so many times. Uh, I can't count how many times I've been beaten. People have come out openly on social media and saying if they get hold of me, they're going to cut off my head, they're going to put tracks on, on my body and all this. So I have to really, really always watch my back. Kasia Nabagazera rarely leaves her home these days. But she says there is an upside to the threat she receives. People can no longer deny there are gays and lesbians in Uganda. I live here with my partner and my cousin brother and his partner. So it's a gay house. <laughs> it's probably the only gay house in Kampala? No. Oh, we have so many people who are living together uh, secretly. Uh, some pretend to be best friends and others pretend to be actually married. So yes, we have uh, actually, you're in the pink village of Uganda. Uganda is said to have half a million gays and lesbians, but the figure could well be higher. This group wants to change people's attitudes with a magazine called Bombastic, directed mainly at heterosexuals, and an annual parade, already in its fourth year. They're getting a lot of help from abroad. Supporters of the movement are donating money to the magazine. But at home, they're harassed by the media, the very organisations they depend on to speak up for them. These are the people we live with. These are people who are pelting stones to us. These are the people who are pointing fingers. These are the people who are sexually abusing us, who are beating us. So we need them to report positively so that we, we can minimise these risks. In 2014, Ugandan lawmakers made same-sex relations punishable by life sentences. Judges struck down the law under international pressure. But many believe the law still contributed to homophobia in Uganda. I'm totally against homosexuality. If a guy sleeps with you, you'll shrivel up down below. But if you're poor and gays want to sleep with you, you can earn some money. It's up to the people themselves. If you don't want to be a homo, you don't have to be. More and more people in the country are coming out, Kasha Nabagazera says, even if they still face harsh prison sentences. I'm really, really hopeful for the movement in Uganda because even when others go, others come on board. So there's hope, there's no doubt. There's hope and the movement is strong, the movement exists and the challenges are there, but we also register some successes that keep us going. Nabagazera is an ambassador for a new, self-confident gay rights movement in Uganda. It's a struggle that's nowhere near finished.